So today we're going to take a look at a really cool SG LED outdoor LED floodlight. And here's the specs on the box here. We're going to give you a quick unboxing and show you what comes with it. This thing is designed for outside, but you can use it inside as well. Comes really packaged well. That's why the little crimp there on the corner of the box isn't that bad. There's a membership card here so you can go to their Facebook page and join up to see what other products they have coming out. The owner's manual is actually really good, well described, lots of good directions in there to go by. And I did receive this in exchange for my review, but I am still going to try to give you a very good practical unbiased opinion here. Let's pull it out. Polystyrene packs it up nice and safe there and it has a nice long cord, just about six feet. Here's an anchor that goes into concrete, the kind that you could also drill into cinder block, something like that. It would also work for wood. This is a remote control. We're going to open that up and see if they included the batteries with it. So let's pull that apart. The remote control feels really good. Nice and uh, well made. Of course, it's plastic like almost every remote control out there. Battery compartments right here. You slide it open with your thumb and it takes two AAA batteries, which were not included. So I'm going to put some lithium AAA batteries in here, the best ones that are made, and we'll see how that works out. Let's close it right back up and get on with the review. There it is. Lots of functions here. Very clear, easy to read, easy to follow. This thing has almost an infinite number of color combinations. And here it is. Again, it feels like a high impact plastic. It's very well vented. I found out that even after you operate it for quite a while, it is safe to touch. It doesn't overheat and it's weather sealed. So these things look really good and air or rain or snow or anything else would just pass right through it. Remember, it's designed to work outdoors. So the only thing that's metal on it here is the mounting bracket. Here's the sensor for your remote control. I found out that's responsive from over 32 feet away. That's as far as I could get. It probably works much better than that. Here's a sticker on the inside back here. This is model C2020 and it takes standard household current, 120 volts, 70 watts of power is what it's going to use. And this is a silver one. I didn't notice that they had any other body color options. And again, here's the metal bracket that will handle a single screw through the middle or multiples. It has only a two prong, pr prong plug, but it does have the thick side there for uh, grounding. So you probably want to plug into a GFCI plug if this is going to be outside in the rain and in the wet. Here's the unit, you can prop it up. It's, this acts much like uh, DJ up lighting. It'll pivot to any direction, you can set it flat, you can hang it from the overhead, you can mount it to a wall. So that is pretty versatile and the plug of course comes straight out of the back there and you just run it past the bracket. So I'm, I'm happy with the way that works and it holds its position really well. Now we're gonna cycle it through some of its lighting options. And uh, Standard blue, green, red, but it also has pinks and corals and limes and greens, and there's a whole pile of combinations. Plus there are some nice manual overrides there. You can control the speed, you can control the fade sequence, and here's a nice rich blue, and the red of course, and any combination in between. So we're gonna check it out, and I'm gonna see what kind of light it throws, but it could be used, as I said before, for up lighting. If you're a photographer, as I am, and if you needed some accent lighting for something that you're shooting, this unit would work out really well because it doesn't have to cycle through the way it's showing now. You can have a static light. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And it has a nice broad even pattern. These are the options. They have five different units available. Of course, this is the middle one to the right, the C2020BW70 watt. So they have a 100 watt unit down there on the bottom. So if you're setting up some kind of stage situation, you might want that. Now it's only 20 degrees outside, so I put this on my window inside the house and there is a Mylar film which does impede the light a little bit. But I wanted you to get a feel for how much light it throws even through a window. Remember it's designed to be mounted outside so the lighting would be much better. But that tree that you see there that has snow on it is actually about 36 feet from the house and we're lighting it from inside. So I would say this thing throws a nice broad pattern. You could light up your flagpole, accent lights for your landscaping, anything you wanted. And also, as I said before, it doesn't overheat, but it would warm up enough to melt snow and ice so it's not going to get blocked up and then you ruin your landscaping uh, lighting accents. I would say the unit is pretty cool. So just on closing out here, we'll do one more test on it to see if my tropical fish like it. 
Oh, there it is on my 54 gallon tank. We're cycling it through the colors. As you can see, the fish are not impressed. So, apparently it's not an aquarium light, but I would say it's pretty good overall. And I definitely would recommend this SG LEDS outdoor LED floodlight. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.